Give me a T for Texas. Sammy Sosa asking the Cubs' Derek Lee if it's true that Lee has a D. Lee bobblehead in his locker or back at Wrigley. It's true. Bottom one, Sosa bases loaded. Mark DeRosa into the bobble theme, and Kenny Lofton scores on the air. Rangers up one, bottom third, three nothing. Sosa with the runner on first. Lights, camera. Not the action most are looking for. Should be a double play. Mike Fontenot's throw low. Sosa to second where he would be stranded. The fans would not be stranded for history. Bottom five. Now 4-1. Sammy taking a swing at history. Here's the one two. Sosa swing. Throw to the right center field. This could be it. Jones is going back at the wall. Sammy Sosa, one of the most beloved Cubs during his playing days in Chicago. Now a Ranger, he's sitting on 599, 545 of his homers hit as a Cub. Chicago's first ever trip to Arlington. Sosa welcomes his former employers with that. He joins the 600 homer club of Aaron Bond, Ruth, and Mays. Came off Jason Marquis, the 364th pitcher he's homered off of. Hit his first one off Roger Clemens 18 years ago to the day Thursday. By the way, Frank Catalanato followed Sammy with another solo shot. It, it was immediately forgotten. Here's what you'll remember. The 7-3 final and the 600th home run. So proud. Um, not only to myself, but all the people who was behind me and running the bases and hit it from a 600 against Chicago Cup. And, you know, the first thing that I started was Texas Ranger and, like, everything clicked. And the emotion was all over the world. And, and now, you know, I have a chance to uh, celebrate number 600, which is not a bad number. And number 10 in the process. How about this matchup? Top two, it's Sabathia Howard. That's not fair. From out of the sunshine through the shadows, advantage Sabathia there. Top three, one out, one on. Rod Baraja, six for 14 with three home runs in his career against Sabathia. Puts the Phillies up 2 0 in a Phil Dinehorn with oil and go situation. Sabathia, though, got some help in the sixth inning. The wheels fell off the Philly mobile. Bases loaded. Indians trail 4 3. Casey Blake singles. Ryan Garko, Josh Barfield coming to score. Indians lead 5 4. Not only do the Phillies lose the lead, they lose their pitcher. John Lieber strains his ankle on the play. He would leave the game. Later in the inning, the Indians now lead 8 to 4. Trot Nixon, who busted out of a slump in a big way with a 3 for 4 night. Doubles in a couple. Every starter had at least one hit. And the Tribe ride that big inning. The sweep at RFK began the day in a dead heat with the Tribe. The top spot in the AL Central. Tigers up one, two outs, one on Bonnerman, striking out Brian Schneider. He went five, three, earned four K. Brandon Watson, he's that kid who broke the minor league career game hitting streak recently. He got recalled. And first pitch deep to left. Nothing there. He'd go 0 for 3. Top six, game tied, bases loaded, nobody out. Brandon Inch, fastball into right. Meglio Ordonia scores, and the Tigers take a 4-3 lead. The next batter is Omar Infante. And this is something that doesn't show up in the box score, but this is the 12th pitch of his at bat. And then he singles to right off Jesus Colome. Carlos Guillen scores, and the Tigers take a 5-3 lead. Bottom eight, Nats down 8-4, bases loaded. Two outs. Ronnie Belliard, pinch hitting. He flies out to left. Bonderman's going to get his eighth straight win. It's the Tigers. 8-4 is your final. Let's go to Atlanta for the rubber game between Boston present and Boston past. One team showed up. Home team got showed up. Fourth pitch of the game. Hey, buddy. J.D. Drew off Buddy Carlisle. Drew would have to leave this game with a score quad after the second inning, not taking any chances with him. It was 5-0 before Atlanta batted. Second inning. Red Sox comfy, David Ortiz even more so. Two run shot off Carlisle. Five of his six hits at Turner Field have been homers at 7 0. Bottom four, Edgar Renteria. Grounding into an inning ending double play at, at, at Julian Tavares. <laughs> <laughs> he marches to the beat of he's, a different drummer. He's a wing nut. That's <laughs> safely said. He called this his best game. Manny Ramirez speaking of. He got the beat. He goes solo. Career number 481. It's 8-0. The Red Sox with five homers. Tavares, seven innings, no runs, three hits, four Ks. Red Sox win 11-0. First time in four seasons, Atlanta has been blank in consecutive games. They have not scored <laughs> in 19 innings. They need Tavares.
Thanks for that, Neil. Central leading Milwaukee, looking to sweep San Francisco. Barry Bonds did not start. Barry Zito did, and he his struggles sort of continue here. He hangs a breaking ball, and Bill Hall was looking for it, hammers it. Eighth home run of the year. It's a grand slam. Zito's ERA now up to 4.82. Sixth inning, Giants down 6 nothing. Bases loaded for Benji Molina for the first time this season. Players on opposing teams each hit grand slams. So at one swing of the bat, Molina's seventh home run of the season makes it just a two-run game. Still in the sixth, Barry Bonds set up to pitch it with two runners on. You want to use him in a spot where you can really help your squad. Here he hits it to Ricky Weeks. Weeks to first, and Prince Fielder. Whoa, whoopsie. Let's it get by. Nate Sherholt scores, but Kevin Franson is thrown out at home. Giants move within one. Now later in the sixth, Dave Roberts up the middle. Craig Council gets to it. Roberts can fly. Called out. Maybe it's the fact that his starters ERA in the series were over 11. Bruce Bochy comes out to argue, and he gets the gate from first base umpire Brian Knight. Top nine, the diabolical Bismarck. He looked like Francisco Cordero gets Randy Wynn to ground out. Cordero gets his major league best 27 save. The Brewers win 7-5. Bob 20 to 10. Andy Phillips recall from Triple A Scranton Wilkesbury. He's playing first base, which brings up the who's on first question. Doug Mankavich has played the most games at first base with 48. And Phillips, well, this was a game he'd rather forget. Over for three a K and a double play. Bottom six, Pettit was dealing with a lead until Matt Holliday steps up and just annihilates this pitch. 442 feet worth. This guy might be Major League Baseball's best kept secret. The batting leader in the National League had two more hits, two for four. And the Rockies now have the lead. Bottom seven, Kaz Matsui to the Yankees Matsui. Hideki, who has trouble with it in the corner, can't fish it out of there. And a couple runs come in on the triple. And Jeff Francis quietly gets win number seven. Rocks hold the Yanks bats in check again, 6-1. Top four, Adam Dunn. He's got bat scratch fever off Aaron. Solo shot his 20th. And we got a 1-0 score, Reds. Later in the inning, Josh Hamilton. He'll go bang, bang, doodle on you. The other way, his 10th. And all of a sudden, it's a 3-0 lead over Dan Heron. Now it's 3-2. Bases loaded. Nick Swisher against John Kutlangus. Kutlangus walked Swisher. Bobby Crosby, who singled off Marcus McBeth, McBeth scores. We're tied at three. And then Eric Chavez goes sack fly. Mark Ellis going to tag. He also singled off McBeth. And the A's take a 4-3 lead. Alan Embry facing Ken Griffey Jr. And the night that one of the great home run hitters, Sammy Sosa, made history. Griffey unable to get it done. 0 for 4 with two Ks. And Embry caffeinated. Just ask Juan Castro. And the A's win it 5-3. Heron, nice straight win. Bills have dropped nine in a row, longest in nearly three years. But they got an ace that, that nobody really expected to be an ace. Here's Kevin Millar, top one. Rocks one off the wall. Nick Barkakis comes in to score. Millar with a double. Two for four gives the Orioles a 2-0 lead. Next batter up would be Miguel Tejada. Miggy T had a two for three ball game. And Tejada, breaking ball, gets spanked down the line. And the O's are up 3-0. Jeremy Guthrie, this guy has been just dealing. Bottom four gets Khalil Green. He had nine Ks in the game. Marcus Giles went down three different times. Here's another of them. His last nine starts, ERA 1.63. So Guthrie celebrates his anniversary with a, with a win, and it's Oostros and Addie Boos, hon. Comes GM Jim Hendry says Michael Barrett's clubhouse fight with Carlos Zambrano had nothing to do with him being dealt Wednesday, along with Cash to San Diego for catcher Rob Bowen and a minor league outfielder. Club wanted to get better on defense, he said. Wink, wink. Best home record in the bigs belongs to the team whose first name is not where their home is. 25 and 10 Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim entertaining Houston. That's Terry Evans. First major league start. Je suis intelligent. Two run shot as daddy gets it on videotape and his first career homer is in just his second major league at bat. Still the Angels are down a run. Bottom seven. Angels down two. Bases loaded and Dave Burkowski walks. Reggie Willits, Howie Kendrick scores, so it's 4-3. And then Sean Figgins, 2 for 3, batting 465 in his last 19 games. So he gets walked, and Mike Napoli scores. And then Vlad Guerrero, well, uh-oh, that's his 13th. Bukowski, four earned in a third. Scott Shields, Craig Biggio, bases loaded, top eight. Biggio goes over 5. The Angels win 8-4.
James Shields, one of the aces uh, we're talking about that you might not know a ton about. Six and one coming off just his first loss of the year, but he got roughed up in this one. Chad Tracy, a three run shot, his fourth Diamondbacks lead, three nothing. Bottom four, same score. Eric Burns, what a great pitch. For me to poop on. He was a triple shy of the cycle, had hit his team high 11th home run, four for five. Micah Owings, by the way, maybe we should have talked about him as an ace. He's now five and one for Arizona. Even two years removed from winning it all, only two teams in all of baseball began the day with fewer wins than the White Sox. Chicago hosting Florida, top eight, one on Marlins, down one, Brent Carroll, but John Garland throw to second, Juan Uribe can't handle it, Aaron Boone to third, Uribe's second error of the game, and Ozzie Guillen says, all right, Garland, you're out. I, I, I'm going to bring in Bobby Jenks, who, who, frankly, is normally good. Garland, seven innings, six Ks. Jenks, third pitch. Pinch hitter Jason Wood, Goodwood. Three-run homer, his second, and the Marlins take a 4-2 lead, and Ozzy has seen this play before and, frankly, doesn't like how it ends. Bottom eight, two on, two out. Kevin Gregg walks Josh Fields to load the bases. Wait, maybe there is a happy ending. Then Gregg walks Luis Torero. Paul Canerco scores. The White Sox within one. It's 4-3. The next batter, bases loaded, two outs, and what a rebate! Crack, but there's Carroll. White Sox, 10 games under 500. Marlins win 5-4, 19 loss in their last 24 games. There are not 31 teams in the league. White Sox this season at the bottom of the rankings in just about every hitting category in the majors. Ozzy on this weekend series against the Cubs. Hopefully we win the series. I mean, this will be the first series. Hopefully we win the series. We'll be the first one in time spring training. That's right, but two weeks, three weeks. You got better in my eye. Do I forgot the last time we win the series? Oakland? A month? And we're still getting paid for that, huh? That's, that's a little embarrassing. Getting paid to lose series. <laughs> Mets won 16 games over 500. They're just 4 and 13 in June, trying to avoid losing their sixth straight series. Here, David Wright with two on. And Scott Baker, Luis Castillo cannot get it. Paul LaDuca scores. Mets take a 2 to 1 lead. Top five, Oliver Perez. It's Torrey Hunter. Hunter said he was looking for a fastball, and he got it and handled it. Snapped a one for 15 skid and home run just out of the reach of Ricky Lede. His 15th for Hunter. Twins up 3-2, and Perez chucks his glove in frustration. We go back to game two of this series after David Wright committed a second error, a rare bad game in the field for him. He decided that he was sick of his glove, and he chucked it, and there was more of that coming here. Scott Schoenweiss facing Joe Maurer with two on, and he drives them both in. Sean Weiss will, will, will chuck his glove as well. He said, Willie Randolph, we're, we're going through a tough time right now. You think so, Doctor? Shell, the Cardinals had to compete with Sammy Hagar for the entertainment dollar in St. Louis, so Tony LaRusso brought Bob Knight and Robert Wool. Not bad. He also brought the Royals. Of course, Sammy brought the Wabos. John Buck, top one, pops up. Albert Pujols. And Adam Kennedy, they have a communication breakdown, and the ball smacks Pujols in the face. And how many times do we show a guy getting hit with the baseball in the face, and then in the ninth inning with his team down one, doubling in the tying run? Whatever we edit it that way. Aaron Miles scores on the Pujols double. This game tied at six. Base is loaded for the Cardinals. We're still in the ninth. Kelly Stanett strikes out, swinging on the pitch from Joel Peralta. So that means we go extra as 10, 11, 12, bottom game. Still tied, otherwise the game would be over if the Cardinals had to lead. Base is loaded, Aaron Miles. Five for seven on the night. This not one of the five. David Risky gets him to fly out to left. Again, the Cardinals cannot convert. 14th inning, Jorge De La Rosa. He's in for the Royals. He's Friday's scheduled starting pitcher. He's not used to this role, and it shows. Ryan Ludwig, walk this way. Not a Sammy song, but still it works. His fourth of the season. The Cardinals win 7-6 on Ludwig's walk-off home run. You're in a beaver, and now we know. Exactly. Here now the top plays. Marlins, White Sox, Miguel Cabrera. To center, Luis Torero makes the nice catch. He made the play. His team did not win the game. Nice to have you back, bro. Number nine, number nine, Liberty Sun. It's the WNBA. Shamika Christian off balance and the foul. Liberty won by three. Cubs Rangers at number eight. Ian Kinsler grounded the third. Ryan Terrio super stopped. He makes the play. His team did not win. We have a building trend. One more look at this. Don't, don't jump in, but let me do my play. And then you can. <laughs> 
Spanish now. I'm going to do mine. Eric Chavez, fly ball to right. Doris Hopper, I got it. I don't got it. I got it. And once again, he made the play, but his team did not win. Wednesday night fights. Aaron Williams, De Leon Tinsley. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, no. Tinsley is going through the ropes, which is not good. Williams won by a KO, 118 into the oh, second geez. round. We've got the Netherlands and England. That's bad. Now see that now I'm talking over here, so you can <laughs> yell at me if you like. Netherlands, England. We're tied at 12 in a shootout. Some swinger named Gianni something with a goal. I love the Netherlands. They wear those orange shirts. Their people go berserk. And everyone, then everyone jumps on the ground. Back to the Red Sox and Braves. Julio Lugo. Fly ball to center, and I know a cat named Way Out Willie. Willie Harris filling in for Andrew Jones. Said after this one, Roger Clemens became the oldest Yankee to get a base hit since 1903, trying to get win number 350. And the bottom of the first, he looked awfully good. Gets the Rockies in order, a couple of strikeouts there. Top second, no score. The Yankees lumber awakes from its slumber. Hideki Matsui gives the Yanks a 2 0 lead. That matches their offensive output the first two games. Bottom second, it's still 2 0 until Garrett Atkins crushes this one off the rock in his eighth of the season, makes it 2 1. We'll show you what happened here. Jorge Posada asked for the ball, sort of low and in, and it's sort of up and away, and then it was long gone and away. Two batters later, the same score, two away. Troy Tulowitzki, a three for four day, included a solo home run here, deep to left center field, his fourth, and it's tied at twos on solo shots. And one more time, we'll show you where Prasada was looking for the ball. And that ball is high at the letters, and Tulowitzki just turns on it. How is your command, Roger? Bottom five, same score. Matt Holliday, the top hitter in the National League, a superstar in the making, brings in Kaz Matsui. That was it for Clemens. His ERA now up to 4.86 after going four and a third, surrendering four earned. Top six, Jorge Julio to Hideki Matsui. That was the Yankees' best chance to sort of get even in this game. They got another run, but they needed... Orioles trying to win the series in San Diego under interim skipper Dave Tremblay, who gave Miguel Tejada a chance to get an at-bat, even though that left wrist is heavily taped. The reason why we go back to Wednesday's game, Tejada plunked on that wrist, goes down, and a source tells our buster only that it is a fractured wrist that is being viewed as a serious injury. Consider 11:52. That's Tejada's consecutive game streak here. You see him bunt off Boomer Wells, but uh, really wasn't much of a bunt. Ends up being safe at first. Pinch run four would leave the game. Then the money ball, and things just get a little goofy. Make it rain. Hey, look, it's raining money. There's money floating from somewhere upstairs. And that looks like real dollar bills. And it's not pennies from heaven. Thank God someone's finally paying these players. Now, what happened is some swigger in a luxury box threw a, a, a stack of singles out there. You see Melvin Moore and Freddie Bynum have got some. Freddie Bynum said, I gave my $3 to the bat boy. Uh, the, the guy in the luxury uh, box was thrown out. Alberto Castillo said of uh, Wells, if he keeps throwing those breaking balls, one of them is, is going out of here. And it was Castillo's first homer of the season. And the Orioles double up San Diego. Eric Bedard gets the win in the process, strained his hamstring. At Toronto 10 1, Toronto won the next one 12 1. Casey Jansen 2 0, ERA 0.95 and 31 relief appearances. In this outing, he said, I was terrible. Top eight, no more Garcia Parr starts things off with a single. Then it's Jeff Kent. Well, this isn't a fair fight because Jeff, well, he has a mustache. That is a double. Two straight Dodgers have reached base and they were just getting warm. Jansen will intentionally walk Luis Gonzalez, so three straight Dodgers reach. Then Russell Martin, this is neat. He, he was born in Canada, had a ton of family and friends there watching him do his thing. He's three for four this season with 10 RBIs with the bases loaded, 462 in his career with the bases loaded. They're still not done. Almedo signs with a bloop. Dodgers now lead 5-3, five, five straight have reached. Next batter, Matt Kemp. It looks like it's gone, it's not. It, like Kent's shot, it's just not quite enough, but it's enough to give the Dodgers a 6-3 lead. Six have reached base, Jansen Yank. Next batter, Tony Abreu, brings in pinch runner Randy Wolf. Seven consecutive Dodgers. Raphael for call, loops one to left. Eight consecutive Dodgers reach base safely. They score six runs. They bust open a close game and win the rubber. 
game of the series, 8-4. to four. Well, we mentioned Ken Griffey's return to Seattle Friday. Mariners fans hoping Felix Hernandez returns to form Thursday, and Felix hopes that Richie Sexton hits one as far as he did in batting practice using the aluminum bat. That's all the way to Vancouver, Washington, where Richie lives. 478 feet <laughs> with the aluminum. Bottom five in the ball game against the Pirates. One out, two on, no score. This is the 12th pitch of the at-bat for Ichiro. And he singles off John Van Benscotten. And he's got a 16-game hitting streak. That was sex and scoring. He walked to open the frame. Now, Felix Hernandez, one and four in his last eight starts. He, he, he lost that snap we all witnessed in that Red Sox game against Ice Game Matsuzaka. Well, he's got it against Adam LaRoche. He got him three times. Ryan Domit struck out four times. LaRoche again. Hernandez goes eight. Nothing earned, nine Ks, and the Mariners win three nothing. Sammy 600th was so yesterday, or for our purposes, so Wednesday. What will you do for an encore set? Oh, he took the day off. Hey, we were here. We didn't take the night off. Bottom nine, this game tied. Kenny Lofton pitch hitting, and he singles Alfonso Soriano. Can't glove it. So Lofton safe at first. Now he goes to second on a sacrifice bunt by Adam Ellis. Brad Wilkerson, comebacker to Bob Lowry. Lofton caught in a pickle, lickle, lickle. You just have to react, is what Lofton said afterwards. Lowry did not react quick enough, and Lofton slides under the tag, and he is safe. And that's deadly if you're a Cubs fan because your next batter is Frank Catalanato, pinch hitting, and he'll score. Lofton, the Rangers win 6-5. Sammy watched it all. Now Dari Noka and the Baseball Tonight crew debate his and others' Hall of Fame credentials. We got to get there someday, me and you, Neil. I'm telling you, it's supposed to be a great event. People out there are fantastic. They got to watch Josh Horton here make a heck of a play. There's a reason why he was drafted in the second round by Oakland. He also homered more to come from Omaha. I'm sure they'd be happy to see BNC at number nine, <laughs> Orioles and Padres. Jay Gibbons is short. Khalil Green, the stop, the toss to Marcus Giles. 6-4-3 double play, but the Padres lost. Hospitality in Lawrence, Kansas, they, they set the bar high. How about the, speaking of setting the bar high, Jack Wilson makes his nice play. This is a well-pitched game, but the Pirates wouldn't score at all. Two games in a row, they lose three to nothing. From a shot of Jack to a piece of pie, that's how you spell it, but not how you yell it. It's Felix P.A. Oh, he's a keeper. Ask Ian Kinsler. Cubs not kept. They lose. Aaron Hill. Fantastic stop. The little scoop the loop. Another play coming from this one. At number five, you just saw it. Hear it. St. Louis to Barrett. Back to Davis. Brad Davis. Strokes one. Davis, another one. Yeah! looking for the natural hat trick. Davis, got it! Give the dude a hat. <laughs> Tar Heels have a score to settle in Omaha. They'll get their chance as they have a rematch with the Beavers, thanks in part to Dustin Ackley channeling a little Willie Mays. Not trying to be blasphemous, but that's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Dodgers Blue Jays. And he's still sanitizing his hands. Yeah, Andre Ethier here. Well done. Nice grab. Spinning, twirling. The Dodgers win 8-4. to four. Are you ready for some football? CFL preseason. Montreal, Toronto. Noel Prefontaine, 59-yard field goal. Hits short. And here comes Avon Coborn, former West Virginia star. And He's going to go 111 yards, reservations for six. It's, it's six in Canada, too. Alouette's won by eight.